you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy, where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams, including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED, and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today, okay? In this question, we're told that if x ratio y is equal to 3 ratio 5, we should find the value of 2x square minus y square all over y square minus x square. What we need to know is that we can substitute by this ratio. We can substitute for the value of x or y such that we can say x ratio y is the same as x over y and that is equal to 3 over 5. From here, we can say, okay, um, x will be 3y over 5 if we cross multiply or we can even say y is going to be 5x over 3. We got that by cross multiplying here so that we have y and 3 multiplying each other then x and 5 multiply each other and then we divide the basis appropriately. If we are able to note this, then we can easily go ahead to solve the question. Like for example, we can just say, let's say we want to use y is equal to 5x over 3 then use this in equation use in equation okay so if you want to use this in the equation that means you cannot say 2x square minus y square over y square minus x square is going to give us instead of putting in y we are now going to put in 5x over 3. So we have 2 multiplied by x square minus our y is now 5x over 3. And we are squaring the y. Okay. Then y square again. We have y as 5x over 3 raised to the power 2 minus x square. You can see it's only x that we are working with here now. And we can further go ahead to simplify this by saying... This is the same as having 2x square minus 5 raised to the power 2 is 25. Then we have this x also taking the power over 3 raised to the power 2 is 9. Then we can divide by 5 raised to the power 2 again is 25. We have the x square divided by 3 raised to the power 2 which is 9. Then minus x square. If you look at this, we can take this to be a look at this take it as a numerator over a denominator and this divide division line okay you can actually take it as divided okay so if i'm to rewrite this and put it on a straight line i can say that means i'm having 2s square over 1 minus 25x square over 9 all divided by 25x square over 9 minus okay this can be minus x square over 1 i'm doing this so that i can easily find the lcm so in the first case i can say 9 is the lcm for this 9 divided by 1 that is 9 9 times 2s square that is 18s square minus this 9 divided by 9 is 1 that 1 times 25s square that is minus 25s square okay all of these divided by the same thing i'm going to do here divide both sides the same thing i'm going to do here find the lcm which is 9 so 9 divided by 9 that is 1 1 times 25s square is 25 s square then 9 divided by 1 is 9 
9 times s square will be s square. So I put this minus sign, then I have it to be minus s square. Okay, so this is getting simplified more and more. 18 s square minus 25 s square, that will be 18 minus 25, but we need to include that s square. So we can add that to be minus 7 s square. So we have that to be minus 7 s square over 9. Okay, divided by 25 s square minus 9 s square. That will be 16 s square. Okay, that will be 16 s square over 9. All right. Now, anytime we're having division like this, we know that we can rewrite the equation to be minus 7s square over 9 times. Now, this times, since we are changing the division to times, it will reverse the order of the numerator and denominator. So, 9 will come to the numerator and 16s square will come as the numerator. And with this, we can just simplify. The 9 can divide this 9. And s square can divide this s square. So our final answer will now be minus 7 over 16. And I'm just sticking to the rules of algebraic processes and making sure that we follow through with our substitution in which year we are using y is equal to 5x over 3. You will get your answer correctly. Alternatively, you could have said s is equal to 3y over 5, and you will see that you arrive at the same answer. So this is the solution to this particular question. Try out the substitution of x equal to 3y over 5 and confirm that we'll get the same answer. Alright? So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence and that's our desire that you go out and be the best and as you do all this we know that all will work out together for good until next time god bless you